New video is giving us a look at what happened in that deadly bus crash that killed three people on Sunday. Today, the Sandoval County Sheriff's Office also revealed there was a fifth vehicle involved that narrowly missed getting hit by a semi. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here to show us what happened. We do want to warn you, the video is tough to watch. Kim, this lapel video shows the chaos of the crash right here. Now, dozens of passengers from the bus can be seen pleading with deputies for help. You're going to need multiple, multiple EMS. It was a chaotic scene. I need all, all occupants put your feet up here. Early Sunday morning, the Sandoval County Sheriff's Department says this four-door Honda was going south on I-25, just north of Bernalillo. That's when they say the Honda crashed into this pickup truck. Deputies are still investigating the reason for the crash. The pickup truck then crossed into the median and over the cable barriers. This passenger bus also headed south, then tried to avoid hitting the Honda, but failed and crossed over to the northbound lanes and ended on its side. At that point, the driver of the Honda was ejected. Initially, we thought that that driver had not survived that collision, but we found out later that the driver did survive. The sheriff's office then says this is when the vehicle we just learned about today, an SUV, crashed into the bus. Three of the occupants of the vehicle were going to get out and check on everybody. The driver told him to stay in the vehicle, and he backed away from the crash scene. And shortly after that, the semi-truck had a collision with the bus. The semi hit the bus and then crossed into the other side of the interstate. Yeah, I got hit. I got hit. Okay. This over there. Okay. In this lapel video, the sergeant on scene tried to do the best he could to tend to everyone involved in the massive crash. Well, she can't walk. Um, yeah. She can't walk. She, okay. She's hurting. Okay. It wasn't until a bus passenger finally gave the sergeant an idea of what happened. There was a car right in the middle of the highway. Okay. And she did her best to miss it. Okay. The three people who died from this incident were all passengers on the bus. The driver who was ejected from his car survived and is still in the hospital. He is expected to make a full recovery. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Now, the Sheriff's Department says the bus company didn't keep track of who got off the bus during the previous stops before the crash, which made it difficult to identify everyone quickly. Now, it could be another eight weeks, they say, until that accident investigation is complete.